I'm having a look at this little microphone today. This is the microphone for the CRT SS6900, as you can see. Very tiny little microphone that comes with these. And uh, some people have thought that it was an Electret microphone. And it does very much have that appearance of an Electret with the design. It's confusing really because you've got the grill, microphone grill of a conventional microphone. And then up there in the corner you've got the tiny little hole which makes you think it's an Electret. So <laughs> it does confuse people. But of course the, the uh, 6900 radios by default come with a dynamic mic. I know that by the settings because of course with the latest version you can change the setting between dynamic and electric, electric microphone. Um, you can't with the older models. So we'll turn it over, take the back off. I've taken the screws out ready. Very fiddly, delicate little thing. Come on. Right. And how, here we have the inside. And so we've got, we've got the standard dynamic mic insert and this strange little printed circuit board. Now, where's my screwdriver? Have we got the right one? Hope so. Come on. Very, very tiny, delicate little screw. And now, will it come off? Yes. This board now comes off gently and with the microphone attached and the lead. Here we go. It will all come off. There we go. So here we have a hole for an electret insert, um, which is very enticing. And uh, is it the right size for the insert I've got? Or well, similar? Similar. Oh, you know what we're going to do now, don't you? We're going to have a go at fitting an electret insert. <laughs> Everything's so delicate with these things. So let us, out of interest, here we have an electret insert. Let us see what happens when we fit one. soldering. Oh. Now they're not making life easy because they put some kind of substance over the connections onto the microphone. So it's not going to be easy to, uh, to get them off. Oh. Safest thing will therefore be to unsold it at the other end on the printed circuit board. We'll, un we'll unsold it at the PCB end and, uh, and change things. Splayed out. Get 
the inserts ready <coughs> and instead of red because they've used red and blue I'm going to use violet and blue so we'll put that these electret inserts are polarity sensitive you can't connect them either way around whereas a dynamic mic you can One way on. Let's shorten that one slightly. I really need more hands. You never have enough hands when you're soldering something. Just a sad fact of life. <clears throat> Things don't go where you want them to. There you go. And we'll do sold it on the other end <clears throat> take the blue one off not enough hands Come off. They seem to use a different kind of solder these days, and uh, things don't always come off easily. <coughs> this solder I've got is very, very old. It's the original multi core solder from back in 1980 when I used to do CB radios back then. And I still have a stock of solder from when I packed it in and stopped doing it. Um, although most of my bits and pieces got lost, I managed to save the solder. And I'm glad I did. You can't get solder like it now. Health and safety and all that. Can we do this? Oh yes, I can do this without putting it back together. I'm just checking. I've got to push, push the top button there. So we can check this out and see if it works before reassembling the microphone, which will be handy to do. Success. So before we uh, before we go putting it all together, let us plug it into the CRT6900 and see what happens. Right, we have activity. It's, uh, it's a bank holiday at the moment, so very, very busy here at the traffic. Right, now if we press the transmit, we go to transmit. One, two, three. Strange. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I noticed this with the other one, didn't I? That um, when I set it up, even though I'd not set the menu to dynamic, it, uh, it did something. So let's go now to the menu. ICP dynamic, ICP electret. Right? And now we'll see what happens. Give the menu a chance to go off. One, two, three, four, five. 
five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Well, there we are. Well, there we have it. All screwed back together with the, uh, the little electret insert now. And if we talk into it, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. So that's it. Simple as that. We've now got the electret insert in.